Senior weekend here for Grizzly Volleyball, and we're going to catch up now with one of the most accomplished players in Grizzly history. Amazing to think about, but Ashley, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Ashley Watkins, of course, one of the top setters in Grizzly history. She'll be playing her final home matches this weekend. Before we talk about the team and where the program's at now, let's go back to the very beginning. What are some of your first memories, whether it was the recruiting visit or your first year on campus or just loving Missoula? What was the, were the first couple of memories for you? I just remember driving here on an unofficial my sophomore year and just being falling in love with Missoula. I feel like every time I came on a visit, it was beautiful weather. <laughs> I came in the end of March one time and it was sunny outside, no snow. I was like, yeah, this is perfect. And came for my official at the end of October, no snow and 70 degrees on a football game day. And so I just fell in love with the campus and the people here and just fell in love. Stars aligned for you for sure than with the good weather here in Missoula. We know how that can be. But going back to the beginning of your career, it was a different style of offense. Six two, you're setting and hitting from the outside. Is it crazy to even go back and kind of think about, boy, that was a long time ago? But you played an integral role in that offense as well. Yeah, I didn't hit or I didn't set before I got to college, and yeah. so that part of it was so different. And I honestly, I didn't like setting. Hitting was the glory position, and everyone gets excited when you see a big kill. And setting, it's a it's a low maintenance job and you just do it without much praise, but I figured it out and I loved it, fell in love with setting. So. Was there a turning point? Do you remember maybe a turning point of when it was like, okay, I just need to commit to being a setter, this is what the team needs for me, and now again it's going to be over 3,000 assists in your career, but there, was there a turning point you can remember? Yeah, it was my entire sophomore year. I just, uh, G, who was one of my setting coaches at the time, just told me like, look, this is where you are and you're going to do it well, and, she, and I bought into that and that's all it took. And, had a really fun time. Hey, for you, you have great perspective on this, the growth of this program from when you came in to where it's at now. Can you just speak of, uh, of how much of a better place it's in or how that you feel Grizzly Volleyball has grown in your four years here? We have amazing coaches and they've made all the difference. They care about the team. They care about all the players here. And I think that just fosters a place for the program to grow and it's done that in every way possible. Okay, this might be the toughest question of all. How have you grown the most in four years? Whether it's on the court, off the court, where do you feel that you've had the most growth? I think I'm just way more mature as a person and due in part to Pally, honestly. She's just always saying, like, look, buy into this, and if you do it with all of your all of your energy, it's going to be good. So It seems every time I watch you play, and I think that a lot of Grizz fans would agree with this too, you bring a ton of joy on the court, and you're always smiling in a good mood, bringing that energy. Where does that come from, and do you realize how much of positive energy that you feed off each day? Sometimes I don't realize. I'm just going about doing what I do, and my parents always told me, like, look, if you're going to do something, be happy about it because it's a privilege, and this is the biggest privilege that I could ask for. So biggest inspiration for you maybe volleyball wise or just in your life in general again we're going hard hitting questions this for you before. I know we are but just biggest inspiration for you throughout uh, throughout your life I think just my parents and watching how hard they work and I grew up with them always like teaching me hard work is how you get places and kind of instilling that and volleyball wise I had some great teammates growing up in club and high school and some great coaches and when I got here just continue and having great coaches like Dana, Ali and Janae it's just been amazing if I would have told you when you came to campus that you would be one of the top seven setters in history with over 3,000, that you would play in nearly 100 matches, would you have thought that was the case? What were your goals maybe coming in? Have you reflected on the fact of how you are going to be in the record books here for forever? I haven't really sat down and thought about it. I mean, I remember last year when I broke into the top 10 and I just was like, there's no way, like, how is that even possible? <laughs> like, I wasn't even a setter when I got here. And so that part of it, it's, it's crazy to think about now, but honestly, it's it's not really the focus, it's the team. Yeah. In senior year, there's a lot of different perspectives, right? For players, it, it could be, okay, I've been thinking about it all year, I know it's coming to an end. We were actually just talking, that hasn't been the case for you, so it, do you think there will be a moment, maybe whether it's this weekend or not, when your family's on the court with you, that you realize, wow, we are down to the final couple matches in my career? Yeah, I think, I, honestly, it's not gonna hit me until it's over, and then I'm gonna be like a month later at home <laughs> during Christmas break, like, what is going on? Like, yeah. not thinking about, or thinking about spring practices and not being there and that kind of thing. I might show up every once in a while just because. <laughs> Versatility for you. I think that's a word that a lot of people use to describe your play on the court. Did you realize how versatile you could be at, at a certain point in your Grizzly career? And, and obviously on the court, I always talk to you all the time about the dumps. I love when you <laughs> yeah. dump it across. But just the versatility that you've had. Speak a little bit about it because it is very unique. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to be that because I didn't think the setter role was <laughs> entailed that at all. I thought they just, you know, set the ball and that's what I was going to do. But Alec kind of beat it into me that, like, look, you have physical advantages that you need to use. And so 
I tried to use that. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. And it might be an obvious question here, but what, what's it going to take for this team to extend your career a little bit more, the, the rest of your senior class too, but uh, these next couple of matches, obviously needing to win two, maybe three, if not more. So well, what does that pressure feel like? What's it going to take for this squad to pull through? I think the pressure is everything, and we love that. We've been playing with that kind of pressure all year. We've had so many things happen in the course of this year. Big sky's wide open, and so I think if we just keep pushing, keep applying, we're getting better every day. We know the impact that you have with your teammates. Can you reflect a little bit just on all the teammates that you've had in the last four years, and especially maybe the senior class that you're sharing the ride here with Missy and Janet down the road? Yeah, I, you told me my freshman year that it would have been just the three of us left, and I would have been like, no way. And if you told me that, I'd be as close with them as I am now, I would say no way. But I've loved every second of playing with them, every second. Senior day, of course, Saturday night for the team against Southern Utah. Okay, finally, you've had all day to think about this. Favorite Grizzly memory for you uh, throughout your time here, whether on the court or what it might be, what's your favorite memory? I'm going, the first one, I have two. The okay. first one, beating the Cats my freshman year at home. Amazing. It was in five, like we always do, like how <laughs> yeah. it has to be. Yep. And the last one is probably this past weekend beating Idaho, and then a couple weekends ago beating Montana State again at, at their place. So. I think there's no wrong answer to yeah. that as well. well. Ashley, it's been so fun watching you Thank throughout you. your career, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much.